Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Axion by Skyferret. This is the one after Forbidden Recall. So let's see. Clean style test chambers with some custom architecture. This map is mostly laser redirection. It also has some new mechanics to it. I apologize in advance for any excess walking. Some parts are a bit large. Medium difficulty, minimal hazards. Remember what GLaDOS would say. Go ahead, grab another. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of a few. Uh, I think it's actually I'm happy to get rid of them. Maybe it's different in the European localization? I don't know, but either way. Or maybe I'm misremembering, because I've misremembered things before. So let's get going. Ooh. Wow, it- What? It actually shows my Q numbers correctly? Has it always done that? Oh no, wait, no, that's the part that's broken. Yeah, the 6 is broken, that's the part that's always correct. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. <laughs> Custom lights. That's neat. This is like a- a mix of Portal 1 and Portal 2. I think I've noticed that in his other maps as well, or maybe it was somebody else, but I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure it's Skyferret who does the mix of Portal 1 and Portal 2 sometimes. Mostly laser redirection, huh? Alright then. How do we begin? That's just the Sizzler above me. There's this, but there's nothing up here to do with it. Oh, I should probably press the button first. That would probably help, right? Oh, okay, so... Let's, uh, start by doing this. There's no portal surface in there. So we literally cannot get the cube in there, it is just not something we can do. not fall into a portal surface. Also, the ambience is really freaking me out. It's like... It's like either there's a whale with us and we're underwater, or... or we're in an alien nest. I'm gonna go with alien nest. <laughs> there's- there's, uh, some aliens within, uh within the confines of this map, and I'm not gonna look forward to finding them. What am I doing here? Is there something else I can aim this at? Cause I'm not seeing it, if so. There is that. Alright, let's try that then. There we go. So now we've hit that. And we can get up there. Alright, what's up here? One way. Looks like I'd better set up what I want, and let it be that. I'll do that for now, because then I could call the cube up here with me. This doesn't disable the fizzer like I thought it did. Also, do they normally make this loud buzzing sound? I think that's custom. See how to progress. Other than taking the cube with me, that's what I should have done. 
<laughs> yeah, that would certainly help, wouldn't it? If I took the cube with me, instead of leaving it behind, like a moron. Alright, cube, you're coming with me. In fact, you're already halfway there. Alright, what's through here? I can't help but feel that I might have skipped a majority of this puzzle. But I really don't see... how I would have gotten... <laughs> oh! I did not even know that was there! Well that- that certainly answers a lot of questions. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's maybe try this again, perhaps. Alright. I honestly thought that was what I had to do. Alright, fair enough. Let's see. And there, now we can do that. Which will allow us to- oops. Which will allow us to go there. And, if I'm not mistaken, it should be able to recall the cube, right? Cause they don't need that fizzler open anymore. And, uh... Ooh, hmm. Maybe we do. Yep, in fact we did. So let's try this again. Actually, let me just, uh... There we go, clear my portals. Do that. So we've done that. And we want to take this with us. And do that. Okay, that was where I made my mistake. So now we can recall the cube. Coming with me, cube. How did I jump through that portal without getting hit by the laser? That's, that was amazing. And then we come out here... Yeah, this is the intended solution. Alright, fair enough. I actually like this way much better. <laughs> much, much better intended solution than what I tried to do. There we go. That's how you solve a Sky Ferret map. First you break it, and then you do it the right way. Actually, that's how you solve a Rebirth map. Pu pu uh, rebirth puzzle. <laughs> oh. That's the way you play Rebirth. You break it and then you do it correctly. That can kill us. That can give us eye candy. Don't take eye candy from strangers, kids. Especially if it comes from their eyes. Alright, so let's begin by figuring out how to call the cube. Oh, this handy-dandy button, of course. What other way would you call the cube? Oh well, <laughs> moving laser. That's cool. <laughs> to adjust the cube, you have to burn yourself. That's... that's funny. Alright, well that's a thing. What the... What happened here? Does something go on here that I am not aware of? Apparently. What opens this fizzler? I already forgot. That button opens the fizzler, alright. Let's walk over here then. Shoot our portals. And then... Oh, right, okay, we can see that from here. Then we just want to take the cube with us, right? So if we do this... Oh, that disables both fizzlers. Ah, and then we just want to do this. And then what? Oh, 
Oh, I bet that... that's a flip panel. Bet you anything. Alright. I know what to do. Save and continue. Recall the cube. Put this... here. And then walk back out. Yes! That is exactly what that is. Black for input, green for output. And that calls this! Hooray! Save and continue. Assume we'll want to bring the cube with us, right? Don't serve together! Get out of my- my video! What are you doing here? Okay, we didn't want to bring the cube with us, that's fine. Oh, I think I saw Nock play this part, or... kind of. I don't think I was paying too much attention, really. That looks weird. That's definitely Portal 1 aesthetic, so... Also, I love the atmosphere. The, uh, the ambient sounds. Wow, this is quite a... a monstrosity of a puzzle we have here. How do we begin? Like this? This is the ball, right? Yeah, okay, that's not how we begin. That thing can roll into the fizzler all day for all I care. Ah, here's how we begin. Uh, this button. Look at that, it's adorable! <laughs> it's a little teeny tiny... little tiny pedestal. Well, uh, not the pedestal, the base is really teeny tiny. Adorable. Alright, so... Can't do anything about that one, so let's do this one. Hey, there we go, that's something. We can aim it here, which does that. And then we can do that. Ah, okay, so that's the first thing we gotta do. Oh, we can only have one at a time, it seems. Do I have to replace it since... Yep, okay. Fair enough. And where do we want to go here? Well, there's that. Don't we need the cube as well? Yes, we do need the cube as well. What disables... Oh, we need the cube in there first. Okay. Fair enough. So let's go ahead and fix that mistake. Do that. Let's see. Do that. Portal there. And then we bring the cube in. And we can always recall it later, so we never have to come back in. We find the ball that's been rolling around. We put it here. There we go. Put it all there. And then... We want to do the cube first. So let's see, recall the cube. Take it through here. Oops, come on. Okay, so then we need the ball for the, uh, yeah, okay. Why not just make it an AND gate? Oh, okay, well... <laughs> my bad. I want to do that, and then that. There we go. And then we put it here. Ta-da! Is it just me? I'm gonna have to watch Nox's video now, because I, I swear... I swear he took a lot longer on that. I thought it was a much harder puzzle. But, you know, I've gotten really- I've gotten stuck on really easy puzzles as well. <laughs> so, I- I don't have anything to say, really. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like the ones that are about to show up right here on screen, like that. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!